Did you believe what you just saw on the screen? No, right? Because that's not real. I mean it is, but not quite. Basically, what you just saw is called deep fake. Seeing isn't believing anymore. So in today's episode of Virtual is Reality, let's talk about the deep fakes that are circulating on the internet and how they have the potential to harm someone's image and even do some good to the people. Putting words in anyone's mouth has never been so effortless with deep fakes being so accessible and easy to use in managing manipulating the original footage or picture. Did you also find President Barack Obama insulting President Donald Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Where he called Donald Trump a complete dipshit. See, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address. But this wasn't all. But there was another one where Mark Zuckerberg bragged about having total control over billions of people's stolen data. Watch this. Imagine this for a second. One man with total control of billions of people's stolen death, all their secrets, their lives, their futures. I owe it all to spec. Of course, these videos were deep fake, yet many believed it to be true. But do you know what a deep fake is and how it is created? It is made up of two words, deep and fake. The word deep here means deep learning technology, where through artificial intelligence, the computer is fed the data and information to produce images and videos. First, we run through thousands of shots of two people through an AI algorithm. Then it finds and learns similarities between the two faces and reduces them to a common feature, compressing the image. The second algorithm recovers the face from these compressed images. As the faces are different, one algorithm is trained to recover the first person's face and the another one is recovered to the second person's face. Then the face swap is done where the compressed images of person X's face is fed onto person Y to reconstruct the face of person Y with the expressions and orientation of person X. And the word fake here means fake. Basically, it is false or manipulated images and videos. It's similar to creating counterfeits. There's another way to create deep fake, which is Generative Adversal Network or GAN. Here, the two artificial intelligence algorithms work against each other. The first algorithm is a generator, which is fed random noise and turns it into an image. The synthetic images is then added to a stream of real images that are fed to the second algorithm known as the discriminator. By repeating this multiple times, the discriminator and generator both improve and produce realistic faces of completely non-existent people. These have become a real threat as people can develop these themselves after learning the software and it is difficult to regulate. First, it was used by a Reddit user to create many fake porn clips by mapping faces from female celebrities onto porn stars. Many porn star faces were replaced with actors' faces such as Gal Gadot, Taylor Swift, Scarlett Johnson's faces. And this technology was used for political campaigns. Like Manoj Tiwari used it during the Delhi Assembly election. Sarya ne mera Jai Sri Ram. Jai Sri Ram. Greetings to all. To criticize Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in the Haryanvi dialect that went viral on WhatsApp. What he did was, his voiceover was dubbed and lip-synced using deepfake software so that it could reach different linguistic border bases. Deepfakes are not only used to cause harm or hate, but are also used to create awareness and help brands. Jaise ki, Cadbury had made use of the deepfake technology, jahan par unhone customized deepfake advertisement banaya, using the face of Shah Rukh Khan. Pass wale aajkal fashion se hi, royal fashion se hi, NK Clots se hi, Pass wale Lakshmi collection se hi, ये एडवर्टाइजमेंट इसलिए बनाया गया जिससे कि लोकल शॉप ओनर्स की हेल्प हो पाए एंड वी सॉ शाहरुख खान टेकिंग द नेम्स ऑफ द स्मॉल शॉप ओनर्स ऐसा ही एक वीडियो डेविड बेकहम ने भी बनाया जहां पर ही वाज सीन क्रिएटिंग अवेयरनेस वेयर ही स्पोक इन द नाइन डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस फॉर द एंटी मलेरिया कैंपेन हमें और अधिक कार्रवाई की जरूरत है शालो पे Apps like FaceApp allows users to see how they would look when they get older. Now, 
अब तारीफ आए डी फेस टी फेस लैब अलाउ यूज टू सुपर इम्पोज देयर फेसेज और दो सेलिब्रिटी माई हेरिटेज हेल्प एस री एनिमेट द फोटोज ऑफ अ डियरली डिपार्टेड पीपल विच इज कम्फर्टिंग फॉर स्टाफ seeing him like move his eyes and even just like smile was it was absolutely beautiful we have even seen this technology used in film production and gaming to make the animation look more realistic remember whatever you see on social media always try to fact check it before believing it try to look for the source so if you are wondering how you can spot a deep fake we will give you some inconsistencies to look out for The difference in the resolution or blurring around the ears and the hairline could be a giveaway. The color in the video could flicker despite the lighting conditions remaining the same. The video and its sound could not be in sync. The person's face could lag while emoting or moving. The background of the video could be foggy. Even the experts have named deep fake as one of the biggest cyber security risk of this decade because there will be a time when all these signs will disappear as technology is improving. Let me know in the comment section below if You have come across a deep fake and how easily were you able to spot it do let us know what else you want us to cover next